Welcome, welcome, welcome again. This is Project Master BSF Nairobi. Today, guys, we want to do something different for you guys. It's a chilly morning, and why we are doing uh, this video this wonderful morning is because we want to do harvesting of the BSF eggs. Harvesting of the BSF eggs is done early in the morning or late in the evening. If you do it in between the day, maybe like past noon or something like that, when, when it's hot, you'll not be able to do that because because the flies will be will fly off your cage. So in the morning is the right time to do your BSF harvesting, eggs harvesting. And today I want to share this video with you guys and show you how we do it, how we harvest our eggs. And uh, I'm excited this wonderful morning to do that. Once again, guys, I want to always remind you, remind you guys, please continue to subscribe to our channel, continue to like our videos, continue to share. We always say, tell a friend to tell a friend. Today, guys, we are showing you the best place. I always say, the love cage, the love cage is everything in BSF. If you want to do BSF, you need to master this first. If you master this, the rest will be easy for you. If you fail here, you fail everywhere else. This is the heart of BSF. When we are doing our trainings, that's what we say. This is the heart of BSF. The love cage is the heart of BSF. So today, I want to show you how to harvest your BSF eggs. So, this is what you do when you're coming for egg harvesting. Number one, you, you need to have an empty crate where you put the, uh, the eggies that, have the, that has the eggs. And uh, the other crate you need to have, you need to have another crate with uh, uh, these are uh, pieces of wood that are joined together. You need to have these and your conduits ready. You can use, you can either use the uh, pieces of wood uh, or the conduits. Uh, th this is where the eggs are laid. So you need to have clean ones. And then once you remove these, you're going to replace them again. So this is how we do it. So it's usually... Uh, they are always well, 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 and uh, tightly preserved in there. So let me let me do it. Why we do it in the morning is because the flies they are not active in the morning. So let me show you. So this is what we do. Those are our eggs in there. So we get our eggies. Oh, oh. You see we've got good eggs. And this harvesting we are doing it in uh, this is a span of only a day and a half. A day and a half, we're getting these kind of eggs, which is good. Which is good. A day and a half, we get those kind of eggs. So that's what we do. And then uh maybe I can get maybe a, a randomly. Maybe I can just pick another cage just randomly. Maybe I can pick this one here. I can pick this one here. If you look at the uh, at the movement, if you get a closer look at the movement in here, it's beginning to rise. What's the time now? It's 8, 8, 38. Uh, I'm supposed to have done it earlier than this. But uh, that's when the flies have very less movement. So... Let me, let me, let me get this. Wow. These eggs are really late. The flies are 
really laid very well. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these guys. All over. In between. Look in between here. That. Look at this one in between. In between there we have so so much eggs in there. So just gonna do a random one. And uh I'm telling you guys they have laid until some are left in there. So once you do that, the next so I'll just do the two cages. Let me just do one. You just get uh your pieces of wood for, for us we love to, we love combining. For us we love combining, so I'll do the four or I can do the three I can do three and two uh, pieces of wood and, and the conduits so now we get the clean ones now the fresh ones remember the ones that they hatched are here so we need to get clean ones now and then replace in here so we get them in here that's what we need to do And I put my conduits also. I put my conduits also in there. That's it. So I need to close this window tight to avoid them leaving. So that's, that, that's how we do it. So once we are able to do it that way, it gets easier. And uh, what we want to do now, we want to show you guys after harvesting, how do we go to hatch them? So just a few minutes, I'll be able to collect all the other eggs and then I'll be able to show you how we do our harvest. So in the next few seconds, I'll be showing you how to do the harvest. So now we are done harvesting our eggs and uh, all of these are our eggs so the next process is now preparing the substrate that will be used to hatch these eggs there are different kind of substrate you can use for us we prefer you can use just a uh, uh, maize bran and wheat bran mix it together soak it for a few days for it to ferment a little bit and then use it as a substrate you can use it in the uh, kitchen waste you can use all that kind of substrate that which work better, better for you, that's good. But for us, wheat bran and maize bran works magic. And uh, it works very good. So we love it that way. So this is our substrate here. We've mixed it with some water. Uh, you see? It's, it's wet. So that's how we've mixed it. And then uh, we do like uh, 2 kg on each crate 2 kg on each crate there's some little bit of some house flies here because they can smell the fermented uh, uh, substrate here so what else you need you need the sieves the coffee tray sieves the coffee tray sieves and uh, that's how it looks like so what you do you just place it on top I want to show you these kind of hatching we call it the shawalik hatching we place it that way and uh, i really don't want to forget to appreciate people who have helped me cross a bridge i want to appreciate stefan who taught me about this uh it's never good guys when somebody crosses you uh holds your hand and, and, and helps you to cross the bridge always appreciate that person don't always say you're the one no for us, we are humble saying that thank you, Stefan, for teaching us uh, the shower leak hatching. And we really say thank you so much. That God will bless with more knowledge and keep on sharing. And us will not keep it to ourselves. We'll keep on sharing to you guys. So, lots of thanks to, to, to Stefan. 
and above all to the most high god so today i want to show you the shower leak i know most of you guys have seen the other one that i use crap off your eggs we used to do that before but we wanted we, we, we stopped doing that but uh allow just me to show you this today so with the shower leak you see this kind of eggs here beautiful we need to wait a little bit and, and zoom it clear let me just help my cameraman here there you go you can see there you go all of those are eggs so what we do the eggs facing downwards we place them there all of these are eggs guys look at these even on this side on the sides they've laid until the overflow that's how it is a blessing from god that god blesses you until your blessings overflow it's so good guys so always remember the eggs facing downwards you don't scrap the eggs because if you scrap the eggs you're gonna lose some uh still on the conduits you see so the conduits we place them on that side it's something easy so uh, i just need to go fast a little bit faster here so you just check where the eggs are which side and i just place them facing downwards so that's it that's it that's it that's it and then this other one facing downwards again facing downwards these are lovely i'm telling you the eggs are lovely they are lovely i'm loving it you just do it that way look at the eggs guys look at the eggs overflowing may the almighty god bless you this way that your blessing will keep on overflowing we love it we love it when you see our eggs overflowing and uh, we desire that it shall be so for you we always say uh in project master we work together with you until you make it even right now after this we are rushing to see another farmer that will be able to be of help to to her that uh she'll be able to have better production we desire we don't want to prosper alone no we want to prosper all of us together all of us together so let me squeeze this one there so that i may get some space for the conduits uh but for us uh the wood works much better but we always prefer the conduits also and uh, we always use the conduits we always say we give the flies option you don't want to lay there and the conduits they're good to go so that's it that's it here so what i do next we have labeled the dates and then let me get the net that I'll be able to cover as the cameraman shows you how we do it there. So those are the dates. Today is the fifth. So what else we use? We take uh, the insect net again and we cover. Once we cover, you see the way the houseflies are here. So once you cover this way, you try to keep them off. You don't want them to come lay their eggs in there. And also, once you cover it, you create some warmth again. And you know, also, also everything with hatching, some good temperature in there, some good warmth, they hatch very well. So other than that, let me just show you where we take them. Uh, let me show you where we take them. This is where we take them, guys. This is our wrap for hatching. That's our wrap for hatching. So there. And the other one. They can't fit together, so I need to 
Let me just place it here. But all of these are for hatching. So we're, good, we're, go, we're gonna work on something on these and then see how it's gonna be. No, but I can just do this. These are hatched already. So this crate can fit here, that way. And then to avoid any confusion much later, I can place this one now on top of this one. That way. So we have our fifth and fifth. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, guys, what I can say to you is that I just wish you success. I hope you've learned something uh, in this process of uh, egg harvesting and uh, the process of hatching. So guys, once again from Prairie Branster, we say thank you so much. The Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. We say the flies are, are becoming even more and more and more. Look at, look at the lafki. Look at it here. I told you when, when, it, it, when it gets hotter, they all show up. In the morning, you could not, they had patched on the crates in there and on the nets. But right now, you look at it, it's totally, totally busy. It's crazy busy, crazy busy, crazy busy. Look at it, guys. Look at it. You see? Every corner is black. Every corner is black. So, guys, uh, we say thank you again from Prodem Master. You see, every, every part of the cage, even though those ones, it's warm now. We're talking about uh, right now, it's 28 degrees Celsius, and the humidity is uh, at 54. And uh, it's busy now. They are buzzing. You can, you, you, can, you can even hear. So, thank you so much, guys. We say thank you. We really appreciate working together with you guys. If you need our help from Protein Master, we are ready to come and assist you at Protein Master. We do training, we do consultancy, and uh, we sell the uh, the seed, the seed so which is the parents talk, and we sell anything to do with BSF. If you want anything from us, just give us a call and let us know. So from Protein Master, we say thank you so much. The Lord bless you and do you good. Please guys, continue again to subscribe to our channels continue to like continue to share we always say tell a friend to tell a friend and it's gonna be better thank you and shalom